Hey, check this out, man. Some dude got robbed at the uh, church's chicken up in Memphis. Yo, let's talk about that for a minute because let's talk about it. Cause I'll tell you in a second. Let's talk about it. Yo, what's good? What's good, y'all? How y'all feeling out there, YouTube? Hey, check it out. I, I wasn't even gonna make a video today. I was gonna go ahead and rest and 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 relaxation and all that good stuff. But then I came across this post that came in my Facebook feed, y'all. Look, wonder why and wonder why I'm talking about this is because. If you guys remember, I made a video that called Lot Lizards. Remember that video? That video right there? Actually, it's a good video. Almost 2,000, uh, over 2,000 views. Um, it was one of my, it was one of the videos that I'm, that I'm very proud of because it, it, it garnered that many views. So thank you. And I'll put the link to it in the description below. I'm talking about it now because of this right here. Look, it'll come in. Look at that. Look at that. Y'all see what that says? Truck driver stopping in Memphis for dinner robbed at gunpoint. Now this is, he stopped over at the pilot. I'm about to play the uh, I'm about to play the news report for you in a minute, so that you guys can hear it. But he stopped over at the pilot, right? I know this pilot. There's two pilots over there. It's on Route 78. So here it is on the uh, Google Maps that I get up for you guys right quick. To show you what I'm actually talking about, what this area is. So, right here is Route 78, Lamar Avenue. This is the uh, pilot right here. And the uh, pilot, the other pilot is right here. Alright. Now, as you can see, this pilot right here, the, the truck parking is, is minimal right here. Same thing with this one right here is is minimal once once this area gets filled up Once this area gets filled up it is it is a wrap all right now across the street over at the hotel right here You can you can park in that hotel space right there, but you you gotta be in the hotel and over here across the street is the church's chicken and the um, and the Mike's truck stop right here? So this whole area right here is is super super busy, and like I said, the you know this truck parking over here behind Mike's is is not all that tight either. You know, like I said, I I get there about five o'clock to actually shut down um it's on route 78 that's the same area guys that's the same area that i was telling y'all about the 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 the, the uh, prostitution over there it's mean all right it's mean now the area over there is kind of tough but it's two pilots. It's two pilots over there, and it's the uh, and it's Mites gas station truck slash truck stop. It's not even a truck stop, you know what I'm saying? But it's it's a lot. It's a lot going on over there, you know. It's a lot going on over there. So I'm finding it kind of hard to believe that this dude got robbed at gunpoint so he claims that he went into the uh 
he claims that he went in he parked over at the pilot now I'll let you know guys the pilots both of them over there at about two o'clock in the morning this is what he said at about at about two o'clock in the morning because this this is where I'm about to critique everything all right he says two o'clock in the morning he rolled up and he parked at the pilot now I'm about to tell you guys at two o'clock in the morning both of those pilots over there is 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 packed is done it's hard to get a spot over at those two pilots over there all right um so he said that he came over to the church's chicken which is which is true there's it's the church's chicken at the uh at the mites all right so he says he came over there to the church's chicken he walked across the street he went in got his chicken he came back out and he says three cats not one not two but three dudes three dudes all right came up on him put a gun to him now mind you this is in the gas station parking lot now mike's gas station is jumping all night you know what i'm saying but let me let me tell you truck driver something let me give you a tip right quick keep your doors locked all right keep your doors locked and don't answer it for nothing all right because you're going to get lot lizards that's going to knock on your door knock on your door knock on your door all hours of the night i'm telling you trust me take my word for it they're going to be all hours of the night okay now what making what what making me feel that this is hard to believe is because the fact that he claims that the three guys went i mean three guys took him drove him around and he says and i quote they took my chicken by the way and ate it in front of me you know that area chicken, by the way and ate it right there all right so he, it also says that he he was taken and i mean he was taken he was taken and put in a buick enclave a silver buick enclave he said that the suspects will hold a gun to his head and ask him for his wallet keys and cell phone now that tells me the suspects put a gun to his head and demanded his wallet keys and cell phone i don't know my mind was wandering everywhere my whole life flashed in front of me Dunn says okay now he says that his mind is going 50 million directions and i understand that because i mean you know you get put in that situation of course your mind going to go in 50 million directions you don't know if they're going to kill you you don't know what they're going to do but here's the thing though here's the thing he never did mention on the post that he saw their faces was they ran or was they ran uh hoodies glasses or whatever he said that they he, he couldn't tell so another thing that that kind of got me to kind of got me to think and to make me think more about this post because i don't want to say that i don't believe the cat i believe something happened all right i i, I think something happened and I, i'll tell you that in a minute but he says that the men will force him to call his bank so that they can hear how much money is in his bank account. The men would force him to call his bank so they could hear how much was in his bank account and then demand the PIN number to his debit card. I didn't even know how much money they got until this morning. What robbers you know that makes you call the bank so they can hear how much money you have in the bank? My man must have said, "Hey, bro, make this man call call the bank right quick. Let's see how much cheese this man got in the bank, so that and make sure you put it on speaker too." Wouldn't they would have just took this dude over to an ATM and make him withdraw the mo whatever money that he had in his bank account? 
which he claims that they did anyway. Here's my thing. If you make me call my bank at two o'clock in the morning to ask how much I got in the bank, I think the, the, the operator on the other end will be will, will question that. Hello? Hello? Is this the bank? Yes, how are you? Yes, I'm customer of the bank. Now, mind you, if you got a gun to your head, you're scared. You, you freaking the fuck out. You is freaking out. You feel me? You freaking out. You, you not, you not gonna be in the right mind to call up your bank account. I mean, your bank in the morning and be like, uh, my bank account number is, is, oh my God, is. I, you know what I'm saying? So that makes me think there's something more that's going on with the story. You charge me fee? What fee? Listen, this is against my religion. I don't pay for a fee, okay? So as I'm reading further into the story, all right, he says, I don't know how much money they took until this morning. Some banks, like mine, I bank with Chase. They only, if you put it in a debit, if you, you put it in a machine, you only gonna get a certain amount of money, a $500 limit, all right? He claims that they took out thousands of dollars. Suspects took thousands of dollars of cash from Don. How is that possible? It might be, I mean, it might be possible. I ain't gonna put it past him. I, I ain't gonna put it past him, but I'm just saying, my bank, you you only gonna get 500. That's it. Stupid automated teller machine. This dude said they held him for eight hours. What robbers do you know that's gonna hold somebody for eight freaking hours? See, that's what I'm saying. I, that's what I'm saying. I. I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to be on the side of the truck driver. I'm like, dude, I'm feeling you, man. Eight hours, they held, they hemmed you up for eight hours. They already look, robbers, rob. That's it. They don't kidnap. Robbers rob. Once they get the money, they gone. They gonna drop your ass off right there, wherever they drop you at. You done. They're not going to take you back to your truck, dude. Okay? They're not going to take you back to the truck. This man says they took him back to the truck. And one of the suspects rode with the dude in his truck. MPD tells Fox 13 after almost eight hours, the suspects and Dunn will return back to the pilot to pick up Dunn's 18-wheeler. Sunday morning around 9, Dunn tells me, one of the suspects would ride with him in the truck to West Memphis, Arkansas, and get out at the MLK exit into another car that followed them. I'm gonna get back in my rhythm. As long as I'm moving, I'm okay. Come on, man. What robbers do that? What gangsters do that? They ain't gonna, they got the money. They got the money. That's all they want. That's all they're gonna take. They're not going to, dude ain't going to get in your truck, make you drive him, hold up, made him ride with him in the truck to West Memphis, Arkansas, got out of the truck on MLK and exited into another car that followed him. I don't know, y'all. I don't know, man. I'm... Look, I'm trying to feel on the side of the truck driver, all right? I feel for anybody that 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 it, that it ever happened. And like I said, the reason why I'm talking about it is because I'm posted up in that area all the time, okay? All the time. And I know that area from experience. Now, the only thing that I have a problem with is the lot lizards. I'm not sure about what happened to this guy, but I'm, I'm telling you, 
something is something more something is more to this story than what it is i'm i'm thinking i'm thinking this is part of a setup part of a plan that that maybe the truck driver orchestrated and then call the police and make it look like that they're the victim but even though that they're not the bank is limited what this dude this dude just walking in the parking lot i don't know let me let me, let me keep up with this cat doing there I don't know what he's doing. Hmm. I gotta watch out for that dude. Them drugs, man, stay away from them. Stay away from them. Stay away from them drugs. Don't, don't fuck with them. But anyway, guys, look. Holler at your boy. Talk to me. Let's uh, get a conversation started. Hey, holler at you later. I'm glad that you guys still rocking with me, man. And I'm bringing up this, you know, bringing good content to you guys, man. So, holler at your boy. Lockout men. And I'm out.